No more newbie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the placeholder clips like this from your Share Factory videos. If you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make gaming videos using a free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4, then this channel is for you. So please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on videos like this. Okay, so the idea of this video came from Freddy Gamer, who is one of my subscribers who really supports the channel. So please do go over to Freddy Gamer and check out his videos. He's got some awesome Fortnite videos. So if you do like what he does, then do consider subscribing because I know he's keen to grow his channel and I would appreciate it. Okay, so I was watching the video called Sparrow that uh, Freddy Gamer was doing and he's showing off his awesome editing here. And uh, when he got to the end here, it just change the screen and it says can't get rid of this next bit and it then goes on to a placeholder clip so I see this so much on um, other Fortnite videos that I'm generally watching that are made on share factory people seem to have a um, issue with trying to get rid of these clips and the frustrating thing is it's, it is really easy to do these clips appear when your music is longer than your video clips. So when you've finished editing your videos and then you add music, then if your music plays for longer than your video clips, then the Share Factory puts in these um, placeholder clips which kind of fill in the space in effect or show that there's music playing even though there's no video playing. So really easy to get rid of and I'll show you how. First thing to do is to actually find your placeholder clip like we have in this video here. So what we need to do is go back over the area where the video ends and that's where we're going to adjust this. So what you could do is you could, because it's a music clip that's overrun, then you could go into edit music and then find the point where the video ends. But if you look where um, the line is, you can, it's really hard to see exactly where the music and the video sort of ends. So I go into the video clips and then move along to the edge of the video until it changes and then go back a couple of steps. So we want to be inside the video bits, not in the placeholder clip. And then you go to edit music and then without moving the D-pad, you go to split music and then confirm split music. And then you move to the right and get uh, the music on the right deleted. And then it ends like this and the video and the music ends at the same time. So to neaten that up a little bit, what you can do is fade out the music. Okay, I always fade in and out the music. I think it makes for just a more professional finish. So you could do this. I've done it for five seconds, but you can choose how long you want. And then you'll hear the music sort of fades out slowly. Okay, and once you're happy with that, you would just save your videos as you normally would. So I hope this has helped. That's how to get rid of placeholder clips. Please do check out all my other Share Factory videos. I've got loads of um, Share Factory tutorials now uh, on thumbnails and intros and outros and all sorts of effects and that. So please do check those out. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And thanks for watching.